How to launch a human rights blog. You're outraged over human rights abuses and you want to take a stand. A blog can be one of the most effective ways to make your voice heard. You will need a computer with internet access, a blogging program, and writing skill, optional anonymizing software, and photographs and video footage. Publicly exposing human rights abuses may put you at risk in certain countries. Take steps to ensure anonymity and proceed with caution. Step 1. Set up the blog. Check out the websites of journalist rights groups for information on programs to use, techniques to avoid censors, and security measures to take. Use anonymizing software to help hide your IP address. Step 2. Decide which specific issues and events you want to highlight. Practice drafting entries before you go live. Step 3. A successful blog is not a history lesson. Your writing should reference current events and stick to the facts. Human rights abuses don't need embellishment. While staying current, always explain background and context. Assume your readers know nothing about the situations you're describing. Step 4. Develop a distinct voice. Whether you're scholarly, sarcastic, or bombastic, be consistent and be original. Step 5. Increase your chances of remaining anonymous and escaping detection by authorities by not revealing personal information on the blog. Entries about your own experiences or those of friends and family may attract more readers. Just be sure to change names and identifying details. Step 6. Identify regional specialists at human rights organizations and nonprofit groups that support press freedom. They can offer guidance and may even be able to provide funding and legal advice. Step 7. Optimize your results in search engines by using keywords, terms and phrases related to your topic that people tend to search for in the titles and top paragraphs of your posts. Step 8. Link to other relevant blogs, dissident and human rights groups, and news organizations. Get as many of them as possible to reciprocate. Step 9. Encourage reader comments and suggestions. Lively debate can increase traffic. Step 10. If possible, incorporate photographs and video. A picture tells a thousand words, and video is harder for censors to catch than text. Did you know the United Nations adopted the historic Universal Declaration of Human Rights in 1948? It's since been translated into more than 300 languages. Thank you.